Sports Grind. Uh, we're going to be talking some sports here with two guys, one of us who is very knowledgeable, the other one likes the sound of his own voice. I'll let you be the judge of who is <laughs> who. Uh, I am one of your hosts, your boy, B to the C. You can follow me on uh, social media at The Grind Calls on Instagram, at The Grind Calls on TikTok, which is fire, uh, and you can possibly follow me on Twitter at It's BC13, as well as The Grind Calls at the grind calls uh and i am joined today by my co-host my buddy big daddy josh bdj is in the house what's up man man you know just here trying to you know give these people what they want you know what i'm saying i'm just trying to you know give a little sport talk give a little feedback and uh you know try to make magic <laughs> exactly now okay you're on you got social medias you have some that you turned off what was do you remember your handle <laughs> <laughs> well uh <laughs> nah not no. really. <laughs> okay. well as you can tell i figured it out off air and it's right here right now so make sure you're following josh on instagram as well he's also on tiktok and we're trying to get him some followers so go follow Josh on TikTok, again, down here, it's there, you can follow him. Uh, right. So this is going to be the sports grind. I know most of you probably know me more from uh, entertainment news, talking movies and stuff, as you can see with our new studio, our sets, there's a lot of entertainment stuff put up too. Um, the Grind Calls is a brand new venture that I have started, and we are going to be taking a positive look on pop culture. We're going to try to do everything we can looking at posit with positivity and not trying to cut people down or be negative. Now, on the other side of that, we're also doing the sports grind, which is where my buddy Josh comes in here with me. And we're going to be talking sports. And we're going to be as positive as we can. But let's face it, it's sports. Sports. We argue. We <laughs> argue about sports. You use a lot of hyperbole. Ah, that guy's trash. I don't mean he's actually trash. I'm just saying. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. <laughs> you got to realize, man, when you talk sports, man, you're going to have a lot of bickering, arguing back and forth. But, you know, at the end of the day, there's facts. You know, he's a good player. We may talk a little smack about him or whatever. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? We're going to give you what you want. We're going to give you the real shit. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, exactly. it's, it's going to be uncut. We're going to tell you how we feel, everything. I mean, it's basically going to be, you know, the best sports show you can think of. Because, I mean, we're going to give it to you. Every Dallas sport, uh, everything from the stars. Rangers. Unfortunately, he liked the Yankees, so All we're gonna give you a little bit of uh, Yankee talk. You know what I'm saying? But mostly it's gonna be DFW. You know, Mavericks, Cowboys. Right, so we're talk about oh, Longhorns. definitely Longhorns. You know, die hard. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Longhorn Nation. Uh, but you know, this is our little first get together. You know, Spot, special, little special. Super Bowl you know what I'm special. saying? So the Super Bowl. We also want to talk to you about you know what you're gonna be able to expect once we start going weekly, uh, and so. The idea of this kind of came about because uh, both of us are going through what we would call a comeback. Uh, we both had to deal with some stuff in our past, and now we're coming back. And Josh, you started to find podcasts, and you go, oh, man, that's something that you really want to do. Yeah, it's just like, uh, you know, I really was interested, and I really like, you know, I've, I follow a couple people and watch a couple podcasts. I'm like, man, that's that's they're doing something they love to do. You know what I'm yeah. saying? and. For me, I love sports, and I love talking sports. So, you know, I'm just trying to try this out. You know what I'm saying? I really think, we, you know, it's going to be magic. You know what I'm saying? It is. It's going to be a lot of fun because we have – we you are literally my oldest friend ever. Grade school. I, all before the way, grade school. Yeah, before. I, I've known you longer than – Anybody. Uh, so I know we've always had great chemistry and we're only really good. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And today what we're going to mainly focus on is the Super Bowl. That's right. Uh, which is going on later today. This was pre-recorded, but right. uh, as you're watching it, it'll be going on later today. Uh, the hope is to possibly have a post-show. It depends on how watching the Super Bowl goes for us. Uh, we yeah. might run a little late and might not have time to record one, but uh, hopefully we do. If we do, we come back tomorrow. If not, the goal is to 
start going weekly around the end of April, uh, kind of around the NFL draft. Yeah, we want to cover it. We're going to definitely cover the draft. You know, I think the draft is really exciting for me mm-hmm. because especially with my team being in Dallas Cowboys, we got a lot of holes to fill. So we're going, we're going to give you live input of what players we think would be a big impact for our team, you know what I'm saying? And and basically we're gonna give you the whole rundown, man. We're gonna I'ma study the draft. We're gonna we're gonna do our thing. You know what I I'm like saying? It. I like <laughs> it. I like it. Josh, uh are you planning on getting into uh fantasy football next year? Uh I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh probably probably will. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, because uh I haven't played in so long, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But I love fantasy football. It's something that's fun, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And, uh, you know, maybe can make a little money doing it. You never oh, know. Oh, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Uh, that's something else that would be exciting to talk about, as we can talk about uh, eventually down, later on down the line on the show, is uh, fantasy football right, drafts right. and who our sleeper picks are, things right. like that that we might want to go at. It would be really good to get a league, get our, get our own league going and bring people in here arguing about, you know, trades. Draft and <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. I think that'd be pretty oh, cool. You know what would be really dope? What? If we did a live draft and we like filmed it. That would be dope. <laughs> we have some coming up in the in the first pick of the draft. Yeah. yeah. Josh Schlesinger. <laughs> I think that'd be fun, man. That could yeah. be, I, and that's a, I, that just came to me right now. That'd yeah. be really cool. That really would be. Oh, I'd really like that. Uh all right, so you know, Let's get let's get into the Super Bowl this yeah, year. Yeah, let's do um, it. The beginning of the season, you know, the COVID season. Oh uh, man, it was crazy. It really was. Man, it was. We didn't know we were going to have football. Unreal. Like, literally, I'm thankful that we do have football. But you know, just looking back at the year and how everything went, it's really remarkable that. Uh, I mean, yeah, you had some <laughs> big outbursts and some teams, but I mean, for the most part, I mean. We pretty much had a successful season, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, but with the COVID, it definitely impacted a, a lot of things, yeah. especially, you know, new coaches, you know what I'm saying, and new teams didn't have a uh, a full... Uh, there was there was, a, there was a game that players, teams didn't even have quarterbacks. Who was that? That was... Uh, uh, who was that, B? That was, uh, I want to say... Uh, they they postponed like the Ravens game because they didn't have like their second right. stream guy. That's right. And then one day, and I think it was Miami who yeah. had no quarterback yeah. able to play, and they're like, "No, nah, y'all are good." Come yeah, play. yeah. I mean, it, it's teams. A lot of teams hit it harder than others. I mean, it was pretty bad, but you know, uh, the Cowboys they didn't really do too bad though. You know, I mean, besides. A little all of our main players really didn't get a Broncos affected. against the Salt. Col- uh, That's where Denver. Denver. They had Denver. No Denver had no quarterback. Denver had no quarterback. Matter of fact, speaking of that, Jerry Jones reference to our backup. Uh, oh, what's his name? I can't think of his name. The one we just drafted. Uh, uh the uh, Gerard Hurd. No, no, not no. That's not drawn. Uh, that's a Texas Longhorn. Yeah, no, that's why I went there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the backup quarterback, not the third string quarterback for the Cowboys this year. We drafted him out of uh, hell. Any other day, I'll be able to tell you just like that. I know, that. right? But anyways, turn turn that camera on, <laughs> turn those lights yeah. on, and the names go away. Yeah, but Jerry Jones referenced him to basically. The receiver. Oh, that Ben DiNucci? Ben DiNucci. Oh, yeah. If you want to say the Italian, yeah. dude, I love ben ben DiNucci, DiNucci, bro. Jerry DiNucci Jones dude. referenced Ben DiNucci to the awful ride receiver that they made quarterback at Denver. It was pretty bad. I just thought I'd bring that up because. <laughs> I was, it, I was <laughs> so mad. I was like, when, when Dalton went down uh, and they put in Ben DiNucci, I had no idea who this guy was. I mean. And I see him go in, I go, DiNucci? He's Italian. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> Let's let him go. Well, well, we immediately bought <laughs> Well, you know, a lot of people were expecting, you know, maybe this could be the next big thing. You know, know. kind of like how Romo was. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Undrafted, you know, uh, free agent, you know, just just comes out of nowhere, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But it ended up being like that. He ended up being garbage. You know, yeah, just, let's just be honest with ourselves. He I was horrible. Want, I don't want to say he was, but he definitely was. He definitely was horrible. So, uh, yeah. But, but yeah, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Um, going, going, going forward into the year, you know, we saw things playing out. Did you see that we were going to get these two teams hitting up in the Super Bowl? 
Uh, be honest with you, I thought Tampa Bay early in the season because it was like they were off. They would play good, and then but when they did play good, you seen the potential there. I mean, Tampa Bay is loaded with talent, man. You oh, yeah. got man, it just they are absolutely loaded with talent, and it speaks to the fact that uh, I think that Tampa Bay has more talent, a lot more talent than Kansas City. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously Kansas City's got Travis Kelsey, Tyreek Hill, the great one of the greatest I think is going to be of all time is Patrick Mahomes. But I mean, looking looking back at the beginning, I didn't think maybe Tampa would be in this situation right now. I thought Tampa maybe could get to the NFC Championship game, maybe. Yeah. But I didn't see them actually. But later on towards the year, you know, you, Tampa really started rolling. You know what I'm saying? And you've seen everything finally clicking. Brady's finally clicking. I mean, the defense. That, let's talk about the defense. I mean, Tampa Bay's got a remarkable defense. They're, they load, they're loaded on the both, the both sides of the ball. You know, when everyone's talking about uh, Mahomes versus Brady, no one's really talking about how those defenses are, right, are right. kind of the clutch players. Right, right. The defenses. I, I, there's one player that I like on Tampa Bay, Devin White. He's linebacker at LSU. He is. I think he's going to be a difference in this game. I, he flies around the ball. He's. I mean, there's. I love this guy. I wish the Cowboys could have got him. You know what I'm saying? But. Yeah. He's a remarkable linebacker. I think he's gonna be. That's my. That's my big play. That's my big playmaker. Of oh, the, he's the play. He's the that's playmaker. That's who I think. Season. That's who I think is gonna have a big game. Okay. Yeah, but thinking about Kansas City, I pretty much knew Kansas City was gonna make it. I mean, you just look what they got over there. I mean, with Patrick Mahomes, and I mean, there's not been one defense all year to stop them. I mean, yeah. Per- period. You know, you can't. I haven't seen anybody stop Patrick Mahomes in that offense. I mean. You may can contain Tyreek Hill, but you're not going to stop him. He's going to get his. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'd be surprised if I'm by. I don't want to make my too early prediction, but I, I like Kansas City right now. Okay. I, I really think that. So now, now Kansas City and Tampa Bay played earlier in the year, and uh, Kansas City yeah got three that, point game. They got that W. Yeah. Three point game. Uh, 27 4? 27 24. That's right. Uh, and, and and do you think that was more of defenses that, uh, that, that kept it? You know, I think it point? was. I think it was. Uh, I think it really was. You know, and I think that at the end of the day, the defenses on both of these teams is going to decide the game because I think it's going to come down to the last drive. Whether it be Brady or Mahomes, I think it's going to be up to the defense to step up and make that final stop. I think this is going to be a a a, a, a nail by strong yeah. defensive, Man, defensive I'm talking about, But I don't see like I see the defenses being able to stop stop people, but I just don't see. I think it's going to be a shootout. I really do. I think Patrick Mahomes is going to throw that ball. He's going to make plays. I think he's going to make some plays with his feet this game. I think he's going to – because I think this game ultimately means more to him than Tom Brady. Tom Brady, of course – Really? Yes. Oh, let me, let me tell you. That's, that me, we, got, hold up. we got hot take. But let me tell hot you why. Hot take coming in. <laughs> the fire is burning right now on BDJ. Let we me, got a hot let take. Let me tell you Explain why. Explain this to me how this let is me more tell, important let me tell than you Tom why. Brady. I think because I'm gonna come in on you. I'm gonna come in on you after this. So I, you better, you better be on point. You better be on point here. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm gonna come in after. I'm gonna tell you why. Hit me with it. Because I believe that Patrick Mahomes, everybody says he's a future goat. He's the goat. Well, we already know Tom Brady's a goat right now. He is the present goat. Six Super Bowl rings. Been to what? I think ten Super Bowls or something like that. You can't take nothing away from Tom Brady. Tom Brady is the man. But. When you talk about Patrick Mahomes, you're talking about a man that is going that people are already putting him to be the GOAT. And I believe for him to be the GOAT, you've got to beat the GOAT. Mm-hmm. So you've got to beat Tom Brady. Yes, you so do. So I believe this game later on in his career, this because this I don't know if Tom Brady's gonna get back to this situation. If he ends up just say he ends up winning, mm-hmm. I don't I don't know if he comes back. He said he's wanting to play to I think forty five or something like that, but this is why I think this game means more to Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes, I believe, you can't give him the actual GOAT title unless he beats Tom Brady. Facts. Because at the end of the day, when they go back to this tomorrow or today, 
Super Bowl, they're going to say he lost to Tom Brady. He lost to Tom Brady. And I don't think he, as being how I know how the competitor he is, I, do, I think this game means more to Patrick Mahomes than Tom Brady. I really do. All right. Okay, well, here's my thing. And that, that makes very good sense, and I completely agree with you, that, that Mahomes has to win or else that will always be an asterisk next to his name. That's right. However, like you said, the GOAT today is Tom Brady. Without a doubt. Brady, Brady left, Without a doubt. left the Patriots, and they all said, well, it's probably Bill that did all the work. It's probably Bill that got him there. And so everyone was counting on the Patriots to still the team and the Bucks to kind of fall off to the wayside. Oh, they're bringing back... Uh oh god, tight end. Uh Gronkowski. Gronkowski. They're yeah. bringing back Gronk. Really? He's out of the league. He's done. We don't they're not gonna be able to do what we think they're gonna be able to do. Right. And then all of a sudden, Brady hears all this and has a little bit of a struggle to start and starts mm-hmm. to hear the criticism and goes, Oh <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tom Brady. Shut your mouth. And starts running the show. The Super Bowl is in the... He's got the home field. I think that's first time ever, too. First yeah, time first time ever. ever. I don't yeah. know if this was set. I think it was set to be there beforehand. Mm-hmm. Or if it was, okay, well, these two teams, let's pick one. Right. I'm not, I don't actually know how that went down. But the fact that the first time ever, the Super Bowl's in the town where the team is playing. Right. Tom Brady is on that level where he's already lost to this kid. Yeah. And now he's on a new team, and he wants to prove that he's the man that did it, not Bel- Belichick. Mm-hmm. That it's all him, and it has always been him. He's going to come in here, and he's going to wreck shop. It doesn't matter if he gets down early. He's going to go, oh, okay, let's Vince Young this, put everybody on my back, and <laughs> let's go. That's what's going to happen here. Yeah. My money, I'm not even lying, I already put money down on the Bucks to win this. So where you say it's got, and I agree, it, if if it will always be an asterisk next to uh, Mahomes' name if he does not win today. Most definitely. Most but definitely. I think when the history books are written, that asterisk will be there, but it will be overlooked. Because I think what Mahomes is uh-huh. going to do throughout his career I agree. is going to be incredible, but I don't think he's going to be able to get Tom tonight. You don't. I do not. I really think that that Brady has the weapons and Brady has the mentality of doing it. Plus, you got to throw into the fact that how hard is it to actually win the Super Bowl twice in a row? It's not very easy. It, it's not, but I believe that Kansas City has a team to do it, though, especially with Patrick Mahomes. I mean, anytime you got, man, this kid is unstoppable, man. This kid... I'm telling you right now, I you got Tampa Bay, I'm going to give you my I think Kansas City is going to win the Super Bowl. Okay. And I think that it may be, it's, I'm going to put it like this, I think that, well, Tampa Bay's got a great online, but one way you beat Tom Brady is getting to him mm-hmm. and you're hitting him. Yeah. That hasn't happened. So far in this playoffs, I haven't seen Tom Brady on the ground that much. Well, that's because defenses are afraid. They can get through the line and they're like, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Brady, we will not hit you. Yeah, but you, if you want to get at Tom Brady, you have to put pressure on him. Mm-hmm. If you let him sit back there, he's going he's gonna to tear he's you apart. But here's the thing. I think that Patrick Mahomes is going to come and he's going to show everybody that this young, new kid on the block Patrick Mahomes is going to shut. He's going to show you why he's the future GOAT. I'm going to tell you right now. I, I don't want to say a blowout, but I think that Patrick Mahomes is they, they're going to win convincingly. Convin- convincingly. Convincingly. Right, we're going to get into what we think uh, the score is going to be in just a little bit. But I want to I want to ask you about what about uh, what kind of impact do you think Antonio Brown's going to have out here? You got to look at okay, Antonio Brown. You got to look at Tom Brady. Look what Tom Brady did. He went to Tampa Bay. And said, pretty much just gathered all his friends and said, come play. Let's go win a Super Bowl. Yeah. I mean, literally. You have Antonio Brown, Gronkowski, uh, Leonard Fournette came over mm-hmm. there. They, I mean. It's so it's, crazy. It's, 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 like, <laughs> it's, it's like you got on Madden yeah. and you went to the free agency and you go, who did they just throw in this free agency? Yeah. Well, let's add this guy to the yeah. team. Let's add this guy. Because right. that's what I do when I play Madden. <laughs> I just go to the free agency and add yeah. random players that I, I'm like, I remember. 
I, I, I think that uh, I think this is going to be a Super Bowl that we never forget. I think that this Super Bowl right here is going to be maybe it could be a top 10 Super Bowl of all time. Well, that goes to multiple different reasons, though. Like, we are never going to forget the year of the Corona Super Bowl. No, we aren't. Uh, and I don't know about you. Do we know? Are there are there fans at the at the game? Do they do they sell tickets or is this going to be? I I want to say there is going to be fans at the game. I'm pretty sure Let's there is. Look that up. I know if it's not, it's going to be half half or you know yeah. something like that. But I believe that there's fans. There's going to be fans. I believe. That it's gonna be rocking and rolling with Tampa Bay fans. I mean, it's gonna be it's a home game. You it know is. what I'm saying? So that's that's in favor of Tampa. But like I said, man, if if, <laughs> <laughs> if so, uh, so here's a the official attendance for Super for the Super Bowl will be twenty five thousand fans and thirty thousand cutouts. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's the year of the corona right there. Some that's, that's hilarious <laughs> that they're going to have more cutouts yeah. than, they do, than they do fans. But uh, that's going to play a lot into it. It is. Uh, because, I mean, again, it is a hometown it's game. It's a home game. And just imagine if it wasn't for corona, that stadium would probably be packed oh, it'd be full right. of Tampa fans. You know? you've, you've been to a Super Bowl before. I have. I Actually, I went to the Super Bowl when it was here in Dallas. It, I was, you sure did. Now, now, let me add, because that was not the Cowboys. Who was, who was it? No, it was Green. Green Bay and Green the Pittsburgh Steelers. And Pittsburgh Steelers. How many of the people in that building would you have said were Cowboy fans since it was here in Dallas? Uh, I were at the Super Bowl to be at the Super Bowl. I want to say probably about 30, 30 percent. 30 percent. Okay, that's it, good. That's a good. It number. was it was a lot of Cowboy fans there. I mean, of course, you got. I mean, you got to think about it. We're America's team, mm-hmm. so I mean. We're generating fans from everywhere, but no matter who's in the Super Bowl, people, somebody's going to have a Cowboy jersey Those on. Those are facts. I mean, it's just whether you hate us or love us, you know what I'm Those saying? It's, it is what it is, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So, uh, But I tell you what, it was an experience of a lifetime, though, when I went to the Super Bowl. It was amazing. I'm talking about you had Snoop Dogg with his uh, Pittsburgh gear on, you know, I mean, <laughs> that was it, cool. it was, it was, I mean, it was, it was awesome, man. I, I, just, I had a good time, man. It was yeah. awesome. Uh, so okay, so if you're saying about thirty percent of a real Super Bowl were the hometown team, you and this Super Bowl twenty five thousand is probably about thirty percent. Mm-hmm. You gotta say a good amount of most of the people that are gonna be there mm-hmm. are going to be Tampa Bay fans. Yeah, I mean, and that's why I say that Tampa has a clear advantage of you know the home field advantage. You know what I mean they. They're at home. I mean, they're going to have a crowd rocking. You know what I'm saying? Grant, there's going to be... You're going to have some uh, Kansas City fans because, believe it or not, a lot of love people love Kansas City. Patrick Mahomes, what he's done with that team, is just they're remarkable to watch. You got Tyreek Hill. I mean, probably one of the best... Went from probably being a kickoff specialist Mm -hmm. to probably one of the best receivers in the game now. You know, I mean, he really... I, mean, I love those kind of stories where it's yeah. just like, oh, this guy wasn't anybody, and then all of a sudden we found out, oh, yeah. he could do some stuff. Right, right, right. They always just criticized Tyreek at first. He, Oh, he's not a great receiver. Well, he proved all the critics wrong because that man is unstoppable. He probably is. You can't guard him one-on-one. It's just not possible. No. The man's too fast, too quick. I mean, he's going to get by you. That's why I say he's going to get his. I mean, he's going to get his today, but... What I'm saying, I, I really think that, uh, you no, know, and also, can't forget Patrick Mahomes, East Texas, you know what I'm saying? So I got to support. Okay, I'm support not that, you know what I'm saying? Even I'm though he, he is a Red Raider, which, you know how I feel which about we, that. We, we still have to <laughs> slightly respect because our producer, one of our one of our associate producers, is a Red Raider. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, so uh, we kind of have to deal with the fact that, uh, that, that, that we're slightly produced by those yeah. terrible people. Um, <laughs> but no, nah, speaking of that now, nah, but all seriousness, but he is a he's a, a home ca- hometown kid, grew up in White House, you know what I'm saying? He's he's got a good story, you know, I mean, the kid's so talented, man. I remember watching him at Tech and the man was just he was just throwing it, slanging that ball, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, <laughs> slanging. I'm not sure did he beat Texas? I can't remember. 
I, I don't you think he. I, look, I, I block out. <laughs> yeah, I think he probably did because we've been. Oh man, we've been just. We've been dog. We've been dog. Let's just be honest. <laughs> Uh, since since Cole McCoy yeah. went down, yeah, we've been dogs. Shout out to uh, Sarkeesian. Like, you know, I, I really believe he's gonna bring that winning mm-hmm. mentality back to Texas. You know what I'm saying? And that's another story. I hope so. Cause I'm tired <laughs> of cheering for, for <laughs> shitty teams. Yeah. Uh, so okay, <laughs> let's let's get back to predictions here, Josh. Uh, so you're thinking defense is gonna be key. I think defense is going to win the game. Defense uh, is going to win the game. I believe both offenses are dynamic. I mean, I can't forget about Mike Evans, uh, Goodwin. I mean, they they're they're to, I mean, you still got OJ Howard, I believe, over there tight end with Gronk County. You, I mean, they just are loaded on. Not to mention, people don't give enough credit to that offensive line. Tampa Bay has a great offensive line. Exactly. And. Uh, that and I don't know what happened. Fournette looks like the old Fournette. I mean, right? It's like he went to Tampa and just like maybe just rejuvenated. You know what I'm saying? Like he just well, no, he, got, he got Brady and yeah. he's got that growth. And energy but just like through the playoffs, the man's been great. I've 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 watched every game and man, it's like they've got a two back two backs over there that I mean at any time they just it's just like that. But Fournette, that's the big like we all knew he was a beast at LSU. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I mean. But he is really turning it around, and I, I think I think the run game for Tampa Bay is important. I really do because a lot of if you know about Tom Brady, he is a lot. Uh, he he's a more of a hit hit his receivers right in the spot like run game. He develops a run game, and that that's where he kills you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And uh, I think that Tom Brady uh, needs that run game to be there for him. And he's got it. If y'all, I don't know who all watched, but uh, Tampa Bay versus uh, the last the uh, AFC Championship game, NFC Championship. Yeah. I, keep, I keep thinking he's a new one. NFC Championship game. Uh, he he that first half he was amazing. Oh yeah, and he was amazing. But that second half, Tom Brady, he looked horrible. I mean, he he did not have the good. Which is which is very out of character for Brady. It is because normally it's the second half where he that turns. He, that he yeah. ramps up and starts going. <laughs> yeah. But I that, remember last year's Super Bowl. Exactly. Like he almost came back with that thing. Yeah, but I'm gonna tell you like this. I think that uh, no, it wasn't last year's Super Bowl. Which one was the two years ago? Because <laughs> he wasn't in the Super Bowl. It was last two years year. ago, right? Two years that, ago. That he came back and won the whole thing. Right. We're sitting there like. Yeah, oh, you're man. talking about the Atlanta. Was that it? Was that? Tell me where he was down like twenty four. Yeah. yeah, that's like busy. I was like, <laughs> I was like three or four years ago. But so you now tell which one of us <laughs> likes the sound of his own voice. <laughs> so, but anyways, yeah, he. I mean, we already know Tom Brady. I mean, you can't ever count him out. Four quarter, ball in his hands. Go last drive of the game. There ain't nobody else you want the ball in but Tom Brady. You know exactly. what I'm saying? You, I would like to see. I mean, Patrick Mahomes. I think he's he is at that level. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, he's already won a Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. But for him to be able to be established as the goat, yeah, he's got to beat Tom Brady, I believe. Okay. And if he loses to Tom Brady, I I not saying that he won't. People are always going to hold that against him. But he lost to Tom Brady. Tom Brady's. Oh the yeah, goat, that's you know always something they say. Uh, but. So, so if you're thinking that the Chiefs are going to win, and you're thinking this is going to be defensive, give me a score. Uh, what are you thinking? What are you thinking the score is going to be? Now, uh, game one they had early in the season was 27-24. All right, only a three point difference. Now the Super Bowl ramps up that energy. The Super Bowl makes everything a little bit right. more important. So, where do you think our school's score is going to be? Uh. I think maybe 35 32. Oh, okay. All right. I like it. I 32. like it because I'm going I'm going right along with you. Now you're going you're going uh Chiefs 35, Bucks 32. I am going uh Bucks 34, Chiefs 30. Okay, okay. That's where I'm sticking at. Those are my those are my predictions right there. I think it's going to be a good one. Either way, if, either if, way. If, if either one of our plays plays out here, uh, then we're going to have a good Super Bowl. What I no. don't want is for one of them 
to fall out and this yeah. to be a blow. I hate blowouts. Yeah, I, I really don't think you're going to, because I believe that both sides of the ball on defense are good, mm-hmm. and they're both well-balanced. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I think that Tampa... Tampa's defense, I believe, is better than Kansas City's okay. defense. Me personally. Yeah. But I just think that Patrick Mahomes, I really believe that he really wants this. And I, and I can't say that Tom Brady doesn't because he's got a lot to prove. Oh, he can't do it without Belichick. Oh, it was all but now. Obviously, the man got six Super Bowls, man. Get off that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The man the man is the GOAT. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Whether you hate him or love him, the man is the GOAT. Straight up. You know, I'm not a big Brady fan, but I get proud. I'm a really, I'm a realistic. Yeah, just realistic. realistic. You can't, you can't, you cannot take that away from no. me. No, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's facts. For the for the <laughs> longest time, I was not a Kobe fan. Rest in peace, big dog. Yeah, I hated Kobe Bryant. Yeah, and then I just started to realize, God, the guy's just so good. Yeah, that's why I dislike him because he's so good and just yeah. destroys my Mavericks. Yeah, I'm, you know, but someone who is that talented, you you can hate them because you're like, stop hurting my team. But at the same time, you have it. But I respect you. Yeah. So you, you got to, you know, is you got to respect him, man. I'm not a big fan of the dude, but I, I, you know, shout out to you, Brady. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, now there is a really big controversy coming out of the Super Bowl that I wanna I wanna close out on here. Uh, right. No. Budweiser commercials. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, Budweiser announced they're not going to do a commercial for this year's Wonder why? I have no idea. That's crazy. I like the That's... Budweiser commercial. I like the, remember the frogs? The frog, we yeah. don't see the frogs as much anymore, yeah. but I miss those. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Uh, go back to the wise eye. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Man. How many times did we do that as kids? Oh, shit, man. I can't even tell you, man. We were, oh. we were some goofy <laughs> dudes, man. We were goofy as hell. <laughs> Straight up, man. We were goofy. Oh, man, you ain't lying. Well, uh, all right, we've got our scores. We've got our predictions. Uh, What are you guys thinking about the Super Bowl? Make sure you're commenting down below. Let us Uh, know, man. There is a possibility we will be back here tomorrow to recap the Super Bowl. Um, That's still up in the air. We haven't decided if we're going to do that. But it is an idea on the table. Let us know in the comments. You really want to see us again tomorrow? Hit that subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. uh, Hit the bell so you can get notifications. Follow The Grind Calls on Twitter at The Grind Calls. Follow this podcast at TGC Sports Grind. That's right. On Twitter. And you can follow me at The Grind Calls on Instagram and at The Grind Calls on TikTok. And, again, we don't remember Josh's handles, but they're, they're down here. Yeah. They're in this channel. And appreciate, you know, everybody, you know, supporting us. You know what I'm saying? We're going to try to give you all the best content, you know. So, like, subscribe, you know what I'm saying? We're going to try to make it happen, you know what I mean? Yes. We're not perfect, but we, we just want to talk to you guys about some sports. That's right. Have some fun. And uh, the studio is still coming together. We got a little bit more work to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, our executive producer, Stewie, over here. <laughs> Stewie, what did you think of the show? Uh, All right, once again, we've let Stewie down, so mm-hmm. that's never a good thing. But yeah. uh, I think it's because, you know, I think it's your fault, honestly. Why is it my fault? Well, because being from Quahog, Rhode Island, he's a big Tom Brady fan, uh, and you're going against Tom Brady. Uh, you're you're picking him to lose, so that's why he's probably angry. I don't well, good story. <laughs> Hopefully, we're not fired. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for checking out the show. Uh, we show. will be back definitely toward the end of April. Uh, and as always, the grind calls. Answer that call.